Hey everybody, we've been talking about scatter plots and lines of best fit and all kinds of data and statistics and you guys have been doing really great with it. Well, today what we want to talk about is something called two-way data tables. Now, all of our data isn't always given to us in um, numbers. Sometimes we have to make them into numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about that today and we're going to look at it in terms of sports um, in a particular class and everyone's favorite. Alright, so we're starting with um, in section 15.2, problem 1, and it's about school sports. So Ms. Carter is an athletic coordinator at Liberty Middle School. She is developing an after-school program, and Ms. Carter has a budget to follow and needs to determine which sports she will include in her program. She surveys students in her 8th grade class in order to determine which sports are preferred by students. So she's starting up some sports and everyone is giving her her their favorite sport so in this chart you'll see all right we got the names of the kids we have what gender they are so if they're male or female and we have their favorite sport soccer basketball baseball volleyball um and and we're trying to figure out well what is the favorite so how do you think you would go about figuring these things out if you were trying to collect data All right, well, let's see if your method um, matches what we want to do with these two-way data tables. So based on the data we've been given, we need to identify the variables in the table. Now, how many variables do you think there are? If I'm looking at this, really there are still only two variables. We have gender and we have... Um, their favorite sport. However, there are a lot of other pieces in these variables that we have to attend to. For gender, you're either male or you're female. So that's part of that variable. And then you either like soccer, baseball, basketball or volleyball so you have different like subheadings under your variables this time so if you were to describe the data values in, and in other words are the data for each variable in numerical values what would you say about this are is the data represented by numbers I would say that the data definitely isn't represented by numbers, and it's actually represented um, by words. So the data is represented by words. Now, we haven't um, had data represented by words. All of our data has been in the form of numbers, in the form of a scatter plot or a line of best fit. Um, so we haven't seen anything like this before, but we can make this into numbers. All right, so what we're talking about right now is something called categorical data um, or qualitative data. Um, and that's just data that can be grouped into categories. And one method for organizing this data is called a two-way table. And that's what we said we would be talking about. Um, and it just um, displays this data um, as the number of things that fall within each group. So we're going to count up how many people fall within each group in each classification. Um, so we're going to record these using tally marks. You guys have used tally marks since kindergarten, okay? So I've already labeled my table on number two, and you have male and female on the left side, and then soccer, basketball, baseball, and volleyball. And I want you guys to sit there, and I want you to count up in the table um, how many girls like soccer, how many boys like soccer, how many boys like basketball, and so on until you filled up the table. Take your time to do that now. Once you finish your table, it should look something like this. You should have four males and five females who are in favor of soccer. Um, four females and five males in favor of basketball. One female and three males in favor of baseball. 
and six females and two males in favor of volleyball. So once you have that settled, um, you need to transfer this data over to this next chart in number three because this is actually um, going to be your two-way table because it deals with totals. And we're going to be finding something called the frequency. Um, and what that means is when you count the tally marks in each cell of the two-way table, that's your frequency. It's just the number of times it appears in the data set. All right? So we're looking at the number of times each thing appears in this set of data that we have we've determined. So what you need to do now is you need to add up all of the, um, the columns. So you're going to sum up the baseball column and write that total underneath the one. You're going to sum up the basketball, the soccer, the volleyball, okay? And then you're also going to total up the number of males and the number of females. All right, so do that right now. Let's see what you get. So when you total these guys up, you should have gotten four total people like baseball, nine basketball, um, nine like soccer, and eight liked volleyball. So the total males was 14 people surveyed and the total females was 16. Now this this last box right here, this row, the 4 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8, and the 14 plus 16 should add up to be the same number. So once you do that, if you look, 14 plus 16 adds up to be 30. And 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 4 gives me 30 as well. So the total people surveyed out of all of this was 30. So looking at table at the table on the previous page, or right above number 4, um, what do these totals um, mean to you? What does it tell you? Um, for me, it tells me that girls liked volleyball the best. And the boys, those guys, let's see, which one they liked the best? They liked basketball the best. I also think that basketball and soccer were equally popular among both genders. So both genders equally favored soccer and basketball. Sorry about the bell, guys. Um, but you could have written any number of things um, under this particular question because this chart gives you a lot of information. For example, um, number five, it asks you which sport is the least favorite, and it asks you about the students, the male students, and the female students. So let's identify what the least favorite for each of those groups of people are. Okay, Take some time, look at your chart, and do that right now. So when I looked at my chart, what I found out is that for um, the students, the least favorite sport overall was baseball. And then for the male students, male students, um, it was volleyball because um, only two of them liked it. And then for the female students, it was baseball again because only one showed interest in that one. So go through and look again for number six and find out which sport was the most favorite of the students, of the male students, and of the female students, and record your answers. So the favorites of the students, it was a tie between um, basketball and soccer. So they were tied for the overall favorite. And then for the male students, male students like basketball the most. And the female students, I got that they enjoyed volleyball the most. Okay. 
So, based on the chart and based on the information that you gathered, answer number seven and number eight. Um, explain which sports um, should not be included in Ms. Carter's after-school program. And give, give us the reason why. And what other conclusions can you draw about the favorite sports of students in Ms. Carter's eighth grade class? So, answer those and be ready to discuss them with others.